These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. About what happens, bot lane, almost at all. Yep. It's about the Lucid Showmaker show. It's about Kingen finding the flank angles and getting into these team fights effectively. And then aiming being able to do some damage in the fight, but isn't really the main character. I think that they've looked the best when they've been able to make those sort of team fights work. And D-plus will be able to take all three of the first grubs. DRX not going to lose anyone for it, I guess. Just going for a bit of a flip and losing out on the 50-50 uh, there. It just feels so rough because you've committed all your members up to the top side. You've committed your jungle to come over, and then you don't even get one. Uh, yeah. D-plus starting it early, getting the good reset from Kellen, and able to get exactly what they wanted out of it. And now you can see DRX are moving down towards the Dragon. Uh, but D-plus, you know... They could contest this if they want to. Yeah, you can see Lucid is down there on his Krug camp now. I think DRX aren't even confident enough to start it. They might just take the, the scuttle and back away. Which gives even more ample time for D-plus to ready up before this dragon. Ping's actually coming out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Up here? Both solo matchups, pretty sizable CS advantages for D-plus. Um, walk up a lane and just <laughs> tongue lash them. For like 100 damage level. Well, Arrow is going to come down, but Kellen is going to tank it up. I think he's still just really dead. He's just sort of stunned forever as Pleta actually using that Shield of Daybreak exactly when he needed to. It's like they're not going to be allowed to get close. DRX moved their strong bot lane up to mid just to make sure they have as much power possible. And when D plus try and continue pressure bot, yeah, who will TP in. This is a good move, honestly, from DRX to secure the grubs and not give any chance for recourse from yeah. D plus. Teleport at the ready, oh, a dangerous time for DRX. Yeah, Frog doesn't have TP. I think they just let this go. I think this is the correct move. It's just a second dragon. It is a Cloud Soul. Oh, Maybe baby. Given up the dragon, they regret it now, knowing it's a Cloud Soul. Oh. And Sponge going to turn up on top of that control ward, and it looks like Shelly is going to be next thing on the menu. Four members of DRX moving their way down. That is some, a high-value statue going to be thrown towards DRX, and the True Shot Barrage is also really good for the added damage. Teddy going to move around as well. Five members of DRX here towards the north. As D plus and see whether they win this 50 50. So much poke coming in. Solar Flare going completely wide. And Frog going to get knocked up. The arrow is avoided. Frog's burning down. Sponge as well takes a boomerang to the back of the head. And that is going to be the Rift Herald secured. Boomerang connects. Buster Shot has to be used. But now Showmaker wanting to move forward with impunity. Nothing that they can do to stop you from uh, just sort of distorting in. King and now going to get speared here as Sponge comes in. Good flash. Solar Flare still going to get the stun, and Kingen is very much going to die. Pounce comes forward, and Sponge going to collect his happy birthday kill. Uh, it's going to be responded with an outer turret being taken down here in this mid lane, but the tower does also fall in bot, and I believe that was first turret blood being picked up by DRX. At throws boomerangs. Oh, yes, he As does. Teddy. Oh, he's throwing a boomerang at Ash, and Teddy going to flash over the wall, and Lucid is just going to break his heart. That is going to be a kill. First one for D plus actually come pretty late into this game, but it's a pretty effective one as well. It's King and moving back towards that top lane. Oh, maybe not that effective. I guess there are quite a few members of DRX here towards the top side, but Showmaker in the bot lane will be able to get a lot of work done to this turret. Yeah, I think Teddy either had to flash early or not flash at all there. Uh, against the Viego, he's always going to be able to follow with ult, so I think a bit of a misplay there and a summoner burn for no real gain. Uh, DRX now signed up at the top lane, potentially looking to punish Kingen again and get this tower. He is mini not, has no flash. Well, he does at least have a turret for now. Kellen's moving in. Boomerang connects onto Sponge. He's going to pounce his way out, but D plus just going to keep their heads in it. They're going to take down this dragon. That is going to be cloud number one. Bit of extra movement as Kingen hopping in. Passive effect. Yeah. Well, let's see whether he can proc it, as his turret is just going to explode. It's like no is going to be the answer. It's aiming, Arcane shifting forward. We've seen that one before. Hit by the arrow. There's the cleanse, baby! Because the cleanse was no. Try and stop him. Yeah. Well, head up hold onto Pleta, who is just going to return the favor with a stun. Not sure about this one. He has been ignited. There is the ulti. Just Kellen biding his time, waiting for an opportunity. It's all oh, Teddy. Oh no, Lucid, his worst nightmare is going to land on him once again. True Shot Barrage only going to hit onto Frog, but they have them right where they want them. He tries to mitigate the CC, throws them what? over. That all out was so sick, but the pulverize is even better from Kellen. The double kill comes in now from 
Showmaker, he does immediately die there thereafter, but I still think an absolutely sick play from D+. Plus. Amy, the Arcane shifted sideways, not forward, as Kellen not going to be so lucky. There's a headbutt back. Kellen's still down to 50%. Pleta is just eradicated, though, and Kingen is right in there. He is just going to get taken down. Kind of a freebie. It's still a good trade for DRX overall because Kellen is so low and Kingen is dead. But Kellen is looking for a flank angle. Yeah, and Yahoo actually just standing his ground. The Buster Shot does come in. He's almost just dead, but he is going to survive at least for now. Still, DRX cannot fight, and that is going to be Soul Point going over to D+. Showmaker really taking matters into his own hands. True Shot Barrage is going to hit Teddy, not Yahoo, who back at the right spot. And I feel like Showmaker is so hard to deal with right now. Secured as well as a cheeky brutalizer on top as Kingen. All right, he's just gonna find Sponge and destroy him. That's uh, that's his birthday present right there. Beautiful flank angle comes in. The hidden knot ends up catching out the Nidalee, and now no jungler. T-Rex have to what? try and approach this and find a good fight. Kingen just jumped over a wall and won the game basically. Yep, that was pretty impressive. Okay. Let's see whether DRX can do anything about this. They don't really want to give it away for free. Xenoblade going to go wide. The arrow is going to be absorbed by the cow who just presses the I don't care button. They take themselves to Baron. Kellen goes down relatively low. Kingen does have that Mega Null relatively available. Another great all out here from Frog. And that is a very dead Lucid. But that is the only thing that they get. The Baron's still going over to D+. I think they're still pretty happy. And a lot of Cassante interactions this game. Lucid not learning from the last one and tries to flash when he's already been ulted and ends up getting caught anyway. Uh, and now D-Rex might be able to get this second tower here. They have a lot of tower taking pressure. Yeah, Trisha Barrage does do a lot of damage to Teddy. You can see Showmaker, he really wants it. He's like, if I had a death cap, I would definitely go in. But Drex, the Baron power play is still in the negative. They're about even in gold. They are down in dragons, but they keep the hopes alive. Well, Kellen is going to absorb even more CC. As he looks to try and turn up against the flash out from Pleter instead, he has to flash immediately away. The ignite ticking, 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 and the bomb is just going to take the kill. Atlas, you silly boy, you've got to stay a little bit more observant. He's still a full health though. That is a big deal. Frog absorbing, 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 and uh, won't be able to do that one forever. Is now Showmaker looking for that? Oh, oh where'd he go? There goes. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, that was that death cap he was waiting for, and uh, worked pretty well. Ah, uh, got it. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Yep, and Yahoo, I mean... And I feel like in these fights, DRX have actually looked a little bit better. It's playing the map that has been pretty hard. True Shot Barrage is going to fly over. Decent mitigation, but now Sponge kind of out of the fight. Another all-out opportunity as they get rid of the cow. But starting the fight without Kellen, that has been the way they steal it. But that's a gigantic gnar from Kingen. Frog going to be taken out first. Pleta going to be second on the menu. A double kill for aiming as now Yahoo's trying to keep them busy. But he takes a fossil to the face and is turned into one himself. All right, Lucid just trying to beat Cassante. This is going to be his answer. Trying to break the hearts of two at once. And he's going to get, be able to get the first on his birthday. And it's a double to come down for Lucid. There's an ace. And they were pretty mad that they had their Cloud Soul taken away from them, and their answer to it might just be winning the game. And it ends up being a Dragon secured for DRX, but the engage from Kingen wins them the fight. Beautiful play there, and d Plus should just be able to close it out. The spawn time is way too long. Pleta, you can't defend this solo, especially with reinforcements coming in. Oh man, I tell you what, Kingen, when he's on, he is so incredibly on. Doesn't quite find that, that ulti, but that doesn't matter because this Nexus is dead. First, he finds the Baron, then he finds the game-winning team fight around the Drake. Counter engage in the Renata, in the Azir, this Jace poke might be very hard to deal with for DRX, so... Waiting in this brush. Not sure about that one, as Yahoo just moving underneath the turret here, dashing forward. There is Yahoo's gonna go down. The flash out, and Showmaker stays alive! Back away, and Lucid going to be distracted by the dragon. Sponge taking some grubs as well. And so it's just some added pressure here, and a couple of plates picked up by D Plus in the bottom lane. And things are still rough bot lane. You know, obviously the big talking point was the level one, but. It's not easier now, it's just less bad. Uh, aiming level 6 already, there's a cleanse available for Teddy, but Pleta isn't going to get access to that Unbreakable for a long time, so if he missteps, could be an easy handshake into Arrow Angle. Yep, and the uh, XP disadvantage. Oh, okay, we're looking for the Empress Divide. There's the Flash, and the Arctic Assault is beautiful. There's that mid-jungle synergy for D+. 
And that is going to be the second kill for Showmaker. The Sponge wanting to collect a few more, but I feel like it's greedy, especially with the uh, position of D+, and the fact that Frog is in such a rough spot uh, underneath this turret. I think if he was to burn Teleport to try and come up to get a theoretical couple of grubs, it would have been a disaster. Definitely agree with that one. He's already quite far behind, and playing lane against an Ash, you know, we the team who got it. Yeah, what's it going to be? As uh, aiming, looking for first turret blood as well. And it is going to be Hextech. Okay, there we go. That's nice. much better. Uh, out of the two tech drakes, yep. I think that's probably the better one. Yep, I love Hexgates, honestly. So many fun interactions from that. What's better, Hexgates or Cinders? I think I like Cinders more because they feel new, but I think Hexgates overall I prefer, you know? Like, mm, so be an that answer to that as well. There is a lot of telegraphed arrival. Thousand gold difference just in plates. Yeah, it's pretty nutty. Lucy gonna come in. That is going to be the Rift Herald secured by DRX, but the hostile takeover, kind of massive. Some teleports coming in, some hex gates being taken, and that is Kellen just uh, by himself. Glacial Prison going to connect. The arrow is pretty good there as well, but Frog finds the Nar, King in to the skies, and that's gonna be the Azir locking down some kills, and now Aiming is just mowing them down. Teddy trying to cleanse and trying to find some of the moves, but he'll find a double kill and then go down, and Aiming finds himself a 3-0-2. Yeah, Showmaker and Aiming basically untouched for most of that fight, just able to free fire into the pit. Aiming and Showmaker are like, okay, let's hit this target together, then this one, then this one, and now this one. Oh dear. Um, Kellen and Kingen are actually just lane partners. That's just how it is, I guess. And uh, they are now a gank squad. Mm -hmm. And D+, plus, and I think that it's relatively close as Kellen looking for Sponge here. There's definitely a lot of tape to take into account as well. And that is like one of them being that, okay, Arrow going to connect here as Showmaker finds oh. the Emperor's Divide. The Twisted Advance is decent, but it doesn't really do enough. And now Frog is on the wrong side of this. Oh, actually Nature's Grasp does end up killing Showmaker because he was underneath the turret. The frog is also going to die. And so we're going to say that that one was probably worth for D+. 1,000 gold lead, 320 oh, minutes. Lucid has ult. Uh, Pleta, okay, there is a, a culling to come through. That's a defensive ult from Lucid. The hop in a straight line strategy. Oh, we've got a little bit more of a fight here. Showmaker is just going to kill a tree. Happened exactly, I want to watch it back. and. This time I'm like, you know what? Yeah, we could we could pass. We could pass. We don't need that one. No, it's, uh, it's, we can it's focus on what's happening in the present. Yep. And that's going to be Lucid giving a thumbs up to his teammates as they just destroy this inner maybe turret. That, maybe that's the birthday present for Sponge. They don't show that replay. Yeah, I think that's a really really good idea. That's respectful on his birthday, and we like that. As Teddy doing the best he can. Shout out to Teddy for picking Pulsefire Ezra, my personal favorite, and Arrow into handshake. Ash Renata, everyone. I don't think, again, I don't think any information was really gained from that. That's exactly how I expected to, it to have happened, and that's exactly how it did. But unfortunate for Sponge, not having a good time on this Maokai. And once again, the strategy seems to be wait for someone on D plus to walk up the side lane, hopefully kill them, don't kill them, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a strategy that I would attempt to employ again. Well, obviously, they want to kill, they, you know, they're hoping next time they do kill ah. them. So the strategy should be find someone to kill, kill them, and then take objective. Let's see if it works this time. Owie. As Aiming is going to demonstrate that they are starting off the Baron, and oh, I don't know whether DRS can do anything about it. Teleport is going to come in, so they are going to attempt to try and fight this off. Narbar position, pretty good. for it's, it's just gone. Yeah, you know, Sponge is like, oh, the Hex Gates were running late, you know. Yeah. Couldn't get there in time. Sorry, boss. Well, Lucid just boosting his way in. Nature's Grasp does come down, but there's the hostile takeover. That gets rid of the tree, and Lucid still dashing forward. He's going to be gnawed back. There is the, uh, the bailout, but it's just not going to happen in time. One for one trade in the end as D+. Plus. Maybe I could have just left the sentence at that. It's not looking good. You know, trading the kill, best case scenario out of the situation, but uh, I don't think it's really going to make a difference to D+. Plus pushing power. They will take the inhib. They will reset. Spend all their gold. Is, uh, splits. And also just the DPS. You kind of forget how much poke you can just do with just like a soldier Q auto. Yeah. Yeah, the Conquering Sands just flies in. Shock Blast as well. Um, I don't know whether that's... I mean, he's only a 1-1-2, one, one and two, Jace. It hasn't really been a game changer this yeah, time around. He didn't do a crazy amount of damage. Um, 
But the poke is definitely still there. And sets up the acceleration gate. Yeah. Ow. Um, okay, Jace is, uh, Jace is still Jace, as it turns out. Did they need to buff the shock blast damage? Don't think so. I think Keen already showed us that you don't. I don't think so. And Glacial Prison going to connect onto Sponge. He's going to throw out his ulti as well. There's a little bit more. That's okay. Let's see what else they can find here. But I it looks like they are just going to back away, grab themselves a Hextech Soul. Teddy Cat. Uh, in theory, but... Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's that's not helping. Uh, yeah. It's got it mega is, ready. Oh, there's a tower. Yeah, this is a, a uh, great mega timing. As uh, never mind, he's going to auto. He's uh, he's, he's out. He's, he's I'm just tough. done. He's like, oh, don't worry, guys. I'll back door. Guys, I have a place All right. to be. Arrow going to connect there. Oh God! The entire kitchen sink. Happy just birthday. The tree. What they are arborists. That was that was a lot of tree removal. Yeah, brutal. Yeah, uh, okay, they didn't quite need everything there, but that was, uh, that was the message was received. They get an ult out of Pleta here as well. He's going to flash for the Pulverize, looks for an option. Hostile takeover means that nothing's going to come of it. Aiming will secure that one. Shock Blast comes in. Showmaker wanting to get more done. But they are going to have to settle with just winning the game, I think. And Showmaker is just going to push them all the way to the back of the fountain. Frog turned back up again, but uh, he still doesn't like the state of what's going on here. And still, Aiming is just going to grab that kill. Flashes in. There's a whole lot going on, but I think the Nexus is still going to fall down. The Renata is going to die as well. That is another stray Shock Blast picking up a kill. And Lucid just Arctic Assaulting around. And there's a sad bee in the fountain to represent Derek's feelings. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.